Hi, I'm Nick from Music Tribe and we're here with The Wing. Today we're going to be looking at bus and matrix mixes. The Wing has 16 bus and 8 matrix channels that you can use to send your signals to. There are multiple ways to send signals to buses or to matrixes, so we're going to have a look at them. First, let's select the channel that we would like to send to a bus. Next, on the channel strip on the left hand side of the screen, select the bottom square, which is our sends menu. From this menu, we can activate the sends using the off and on switch at the bottom. Once activated, we can then adjust the amount of send to our bus. This can be done either using the fader on the touchscreen or one of the encoders. You can also adjust the pan and the width for this send into your bus using the two final encoders. Alternatively, you can press the icon above the fader. From this menu, you can now use the touch screen to adjust the pan and the stereo width. Alternatively for the panning, in the bottom right corner is the pan settings. You can have this set to individual where you can determine the panning or link to channel. When using link to channel, the panning for the send will copy the panning for the channel. In the top left corner is the mode link option where you can have link to bus or individual. This will allow you to determine whether the bus and the send are pre-fade, post-fade or as a subgroup. Link to bus will determine this by looking at the actual settings for the bus. Individual will let you configure this individually. Pre-fade and post-fade will allow you to control how much of your channel is sent and the pan. With a subgroup, this is predetermined and cannot be adjusted. There are also two options for the send mute in the top right hand corner, follow mute and always on. When set to follow mute and you press the mute button, this will stop any signal being sent to the bus. When set to always on and you press the mute button, this will not change the send, meaning that signal will still flow through to the bus. If we press the done button in our top right hand corner, this will return us to our sends menu. In the top left hand corner, we can adjust the tap point. It is worth noting that the layout for these tap points is the same as our channel strip. If we rearrange our channel strip, the tap points will move. You can also apply a three band pre-fader EQ in the top right hand corner. To rearrange our channel strip, we first need to return to our home menu. At the bottom of the channel strip, slightly to the right, is an edit button. If we select this, we can now drag and drop the items in our channel strip to rearrange it. Another way to send our signal is the sends on faders option. Sends on faders is extremely simple to use. Select your channel, activate the sends on faders button, and then simply raise the fader for your desired bus, which will adjust the send level from that channel. It is worth noting that when using sends on faders, the buses or the channels will be muted by default. When you are finished, make sure you press the sends on faders button again to stop you changing any send levels. You can also use sends on faders by selecting the bus first. With the bus selected, press sends on faders again, and you can now simply bring up the channel faders to send multiple channels to this bus at the same time. You can adjust the settings for your bus in the same way that you adjust the settings for a normal channel. Select your bus and then press the home button. From here you can now adjust the digital trim, the width and the panning. For more information on setting up the channel, please see our previous videos. The Wing also has 8 matrix buses available. The best way to think about a matrix is a bus of a bus. The process to send a bus to a matrix is exactly the same as sending a channel to a bus. You can either select the bus and then use the sends menu or you can use the sends on fader option. 
You can also send your main output channels to a matrix. The matrix channels work in the same way as the bus channels, where you can add compression, EQ and effects. You can also delay the output of a matrix and read this in meters, milliseconds and feet. The one difference on the matrix to a bus is that you can have two direct channel inputs. To assign these, go to the channel settings menu. As you would with setting a normal input for a channel, you can do that with the direct inputs. Ensure that you have the direct input activated when you do this. You can also adjust whether this is sent to your matrix via pre or post fader. Once the fader is raised, you'll be able to see your direct signal going into the matrix on your meters. The final thing to do for any monitor buses that you've set up or matrix buses that you've set up is to route them to an output if you wish. For more information on this, see our setting your outputs video. And that's it, we've now set up our mix buses and our matrix buses. In our next video, we'll be looking at DCAs and mute groups. Thanks again.